guys, so I'm starting out by priming my eyes just using some Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This one's in the shade Light Sand and I'm just blending it out using a damp sponge. Then I'm going into the Morphe 25B palette and I am taking just this bone shade and setting my eyelids. Then I'm taking this light peachy tan kind of shade and I'm just blending this into my crease with an E40. And then I'm taking this slightly darker shade, it's very similar but it's just like a shade darker. And I'm just doing the same thing to build up my colours. Then I'm going into an even darker brown. Um, there's a lot of building colours in this video. So I'm just doing the exact same thing. And then we're going into this deeper coppery warm toned kind of brown I guess and I'm using an E25 from Sigma because it's a bit more precise I can pack on more color in the outer corner and then just going back in with my E40 to make sure everything is super blended and then I'm just going back in and adding a little bit more of that warm toned brown into the crease and the outer corners then I'm taking this kind of burgundy deep shade and I'm using the same brush and kind of just doing the same thing I'm just building up that intensity and then blending through the crease. And then again taking my E40 to blend out the edges. Then I'm going into this dark shade, it's like the darkest shade in the palette. It's not black, it's just like a really deep chocolatey brown. So I'm adding that in the outer corners in the crease and then I'm going back in with my E40 to blend. Then I'm taking my finger on this taupey, shimmery, foiled kind of shadow and I'm just applying this all over the lid and then going back in with an E25 and blending out the edges. Then I just took some more of that deep chocolatey brown and built it up in the outer corner. I just felt like I'd lost a bit of the intensity. Then just taking a makeup wipe, I'm getting rid of any fallout and I'm just creating a bit of a sharper line on the outer corners. Then I'm going in with this foiled cream eyeshadow from Models Prefer. You guys know I've been loving these. I'm obsessed. This palette is called Gold Rush, so I'm taking that color and packing it all over my lid. And then I'm using the Quick Flick eyeliner to create a winged eyeliner on both of my eyes. Then I'm just going in with my Longwear Eyeliner Pencil from Sigma in black and I'm just applying that to my tight line. And then for mascara, I'm going in with the Rimmel Wow Wings Mascara, which I have been loving. And then my falsies are the Glam by Manicare Harper Eyelashes, which are like nice and wispy and they come out into a cat eye. Moving on to the face, I am taking the Benefit professional radiance primer and I'm applying that all over my face and then I'm using the MAC hyper real foundation in rose gold FX and I'm using a MAC 132 s to apply this all over my skin and then for foundation I'm taking the NARS all day luminous foundation I think it's called I haven't used this in the longest time um, so yeah I decided I wanted to use it so I did one layer all over my face and then I just applied a little bit more on my sponge and went back over my cheeks just to add a little bit more of a full coverage. Then to cream contour, I took the Benefit Quickie Contour Hula Quickie Contour Stick and I just applied that to all of the areas that I would normally contour and I'm taking the Models Prefer Precision Buffing Brush and I'm just blending all of that out. Then to conceal and highlight, I'm using Tarte Shape Tape again in light sand and I'm just applying some under my eyes and down the center of my face and I'm going back in with my damp sponge and just blending everything out. And I did go in with the like remaining product on the sponge and applied that underneath my contour. To set all of my concealer, I'm taking the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Light Plus and just pressing it in with an F35 and then taking an Eco Tools full powder brush for the rest of my face. To set my cream contour and kind of give my skin a bit more of a bronzy glow, I'm taking the MAC Sculpt and Shape palette and I'm using that middle contouring shade and just applying it to all the same kind of areas and I'm just using a Sigma F05 which is one of my favorite contour brushes. Just going in with my sponge to blend out the edges and then I'm taking the shade Mod from this Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush Palette. I'm not sure if you can buy it as a single because this was like a Christmas limited edition, 
but it's just a pretty matte pink peach. Then for highlight, I'm using Oh Darling from MAC in their Extra Dimension Skin Finish, which is one of my favorite highlights ever. It's so beautiful and golden and just beautiful. Then I'm just setting everything with MAC Fix Plus in pink light. And to finish up the eyes, I'm going in with this warm brown on my E40 and buffing this under the lower lash line. Then taking an E25, I'm taking that warm toned brown again and just doing the same type of thing just really smoking out the lower lash line. Then I'm taking that deep chocolate brown on an E15 from Sigma and I'm pressing this right up into my lower lash line. And then back into the Models Prefer foil palette, I'm taking the same shade I used on my lid underneath the lower lash line and then for the inner corners, I'm taking that beautiful, really bright white shade and applying that to the inner corners. And then I just applied some black liner into my waterline and finished off with a bit of lower lash mascara. Then for lips, I lined them using the Models Prefer Lip Liner in Always Nude. This is one of my favorites. It's such a pretty color and they're so soft. And then for lipstick, I chose Cream Cup from MAC, which I haven't used in a long time, but oh my god, is it beautiful. And that is the entire look. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one.